your golden boy, Rangers. What are you going to do now? Back off! <gasps> Don't worry. We'll blindside him. Mega Blade, activate! Super Mode! <laughs> Mega Blade, activate! <laughs> Shark Disc! Shark Zord and the Samurai Megazord. Samurai Artillery! Samurai Shark Megazord! I forgot him! This is a good... Shark Sword! Slash! Claw to shreds! Fantastico! Samurai Rangers, victory is ours. Hi everybody! It's time for a special review. The Shark Zord. Here is the little cardboard punch out one which you could almost to do so accurately, but that fin doesn't come off. And then there's the whole issue of the lost height. I was gonna put that together on camera, but the batteries died when I first tried to film. So yeah, that kind of fell through. Main Zord itself has central symmetrical riding pegs and came with the standard retailer mandated probably eat mostly unarticulated figure who is sort of posed holding his mega blade like the rod of a triumphant fisherman. And he was the first to have the molded head under the helmet that was introduced along with the punch out version of the Zords in re releases of the Tiger. Octo and Beetle Zords. Oh, and Swordfish Swords. <clears throat> Here's the Zord itself. Although, <clears throat> the Curving things here made it shark like, and how these kind of look like fins made it shark like enough for them to change the name, even. And that was honestly my first impression when I saw the Sentai clip of it was. That's not a dinosaur, that's a shark with legs! You know, because when I heard Kyori Origami, I was expecting something a wee bit more dinosaur y. Yeah, you know, that looks like a shark head more. You know, it's actually supposed to be Volcanodon. It's mostly show accurate, except it doesn't have, you know, the sort of great side guards like this fin sword does, though it should. And, you know, <clears throat> there's not even a f f spinning faux disc. <clears throat> it's lost a bit of height, too, but it gets the point across. Now, these act as weapons for 4-inch Ranger figures. 
demonstrating them will be my custom made Shark Mega Mode Pink Ranger. They're not too bad, kind of cool swords. Oh, I like how this removable dorsal fin kind of gives vibes of the classic lightning bolt. You know, the classic Power Rangers lightning bolt. Ah. And now I'm going to put them back on for now. Uh, you know, it does this. It pops out. Which actually does kind of mimic the show gimmick of it being able to extend. Although obviously that's a bit annoying as a toy thing because that relies on CGI cheatery. Well, you could have done it rubber and had sort of a spool inside on the roleplay version. No, have it on a spool like those portable lines. But no, even the bloody Kyoryu Origami toy, which kind of failed as a Zord due to its roleplay size making it too big for Shinkano to wield. But anyway, they added these Zord Builder plugs on here. Give it a bit more functionality. This is why I put the fins back on. And yeah, I've customized my swordfish pretty heavily. You know, this looks better with fins on than without. The Samurai Shark Wing. Which actually looks pretty cool. And now we've got nose length. You know, every side has a full, complete long nose. And it honestly looks kind of cool. It can't link up with the Megazord, of course. Would have been nice if they'd put in some pegs, well, tabs for that. But, eh, yeah. Now, I can see this is an alternate, maybe aquatic version of the Battle Wing. And it's really cool, in my opinion. But, of course, the main thing of The Shark Zord is combining with the Samurai Megazord. Which, by the way, it kind of does backwards compared to with Kyoryu Shinkano. But on the other hand, the way that Kyoryu Maru and Kyoryu Origami Sword are held like this is kind of backwards ish. You've got the curved cutting edge of the blade on this side instead of the swinging side and all. Yeah. Now, they could have made it accurate if instead of a flip out handle, they had gone to one that, you know, you pull this off and there's a handle fits into the Megazord hand beneath that. Anyway, you pull off the front legs. You snap them together. It might not look like that, but that is nicely tabbed to the top of the head. And then 
extending it if you wish to give a longer blade. Voila! The Samurai Shark Megazord. I really like this combo, and this definitely has one of the neater answers to the what becomes with the non-helmet portion. You know, the answer? Simple. The entire rest of the Zord's body is a huge-ass sword for the thing to wield. And, um, you know, damn it, my hand, turtle hand is loose a bit. Oh. Wield it indeed can. You know, and if you, you can do that cheating a pose out of the elbow <laughs> joint. But yeah, that is pretty damn cool. And I recommend the shark. Zord. In point of fact, you'd probably have to trim this handle down to make it work, but you might actually be able to use this with Shinken O. Okay, now for the second part of this, you know, this was spoiler warning used to finish off Serrator. The Gigazord combines with the Shark Zord. And used it to cut him down for good. I forgot to do something first. Channel the power of all your zords! Now revving it up like that. Then... Raise and chop him down. Sorry, I just have a lot of fun doing that. And by the way, for accuracy, you do not put the two legs that make the helmet back on the Gigazord. You don't. You don't put them back on for this formation. Now, what to do with the helmet? That's up to you. There's some places you could interesting loose fit it, I suppose. But or just put it in a parts box or something. Anyway, yeah, this looks really cool, and yeah, get the damn shark sword. Yeah. It does make the arm sag a little, but it does let the thing wield it, so yeah, it's not as bad as... <clears throat> Signing off! And until such and once the light sword done with Samurai Zord reviews.